Car national points. He's got nine wins on the season. Already, this one, chalk up a tenth. He's going to be happy with that. We were talking about Deming as well. He's fourth in USRA national points. And, oh, Berg, are you wanting a lineup? Is that what you're wanting? Feature number two, Ed Griggs, the 47, will be your pole sitter out of Pleasant Hill, the 16S. Chris Dishon, to the outside out of Atchison, Kansas. Row number two from Tolerosa, New Mexico, the 10B. That's Brian Bennett to his outside from Smithville, Missouri. That's the 222 of Jake Newman. 95C, Chance Larson out of Dunnell, Minnesota. Roddy Swizer out of Kansas City in the 74S in row three. From Alamogordo, New Mexico, the 74 car, that's Jason Jocelyn to his outside from Colo, Iowa, the Colo Comet, Paul Conrad. Appleton City, Missouri's Johnny Fenewald in the 91, inside row five. Mitch Keeler. T. Keeter. Mitch Keeter, excuse me. You gotta watch out for the mosquitoes out of Webb City, Missouri, the 19. Row number six from Plymouth, Iowa, the 21 machine. That's Andrew Borkett to his outside from Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. Andy Morris in the 106. Uh, row number seven, the 33 is Kevin Donlin to the outside is Gerald Wowasuck out of Atchison, Kansas, in the 11 dub. Row number eight from Jefferson, Iowa, the 77 machine. Machine that's Josh Monthy to his outside from Decor, Iowa. Chris Roney in the 78. Chad Shaw, Tremble, Missouri, the 93S in the 43K. Josh Kelderman out of Sioux Center, Iowa. Row 10 from Buffalo, Missouri. We got the 18 of Tracy Cotterell into his outside from Kansas City, Missouri. The 41K. That's Vern Kiever. Brian White at 11 in the five in the 34 of Blake. Bolton out of Appleton City, Missouri, your final starter. Everybody up, stock car, feature number two. Salute you, the race fan. Everybody up, stomp your feet, clap your hands, wave your neighbor's hat around, wake them up. It is stock car showtime, feature number two. So can Mitch Keeter be the flying Skeeter out of Webb City, Missouri, the 19th? I, sure. Okay, we'll go with it. I like it. Does he have a nickname on here? Did he list one? Take a peek. I don't think so. So he's going to be stuck with the Skeeter from now on. <laughs> yep. All right. Lights are now. 20 laps the distance. Denicus grabs the edge of his chair. That's all he'll need for 20 laps with the class uh -oh. too tough to tame. We're not. <laughs> oh, that was weird, wild, and wacky towards the back of the pack. Uh-oh, uh oh it's going to get worse. Oh, no. Oh, he, luckily he backed off the Jake main Newman, groove. Jake Newman, the triple deuce from Smithville, Missouri. Hey, you were talking about Keeter. He won a USMTS preliminary night race and the King of America back at, in Humboldt back in 2017. Is that right? Yeah, none is a endless wow. wealth of knowledge. None, I'm impressed with that. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. The 222... Newman was lucky that that thing didn't go over. If you watch the FK Rod End replay, he got up high and on the flat side of the, the speedway there, and uh, it dug in, and it did not go over. Hey, Berg, did, I'm just got to turn around and look. Looks like the did the Phillies advance? And they, they did. They did, 7-1. to one. I saw the celebration. So the Twins advance, the, the Phils. The, fi the fighting Phils advanced. And, and the, tomorrow night you're going to get to watch to see the Bears if they lose the number one pick. Well, they can still lose and not <laughs> lose the number one pick. Don't yeah. worry about that. <laughs> and Arizona won. So did they eliminate the Brewers then? Ha! I love it. That I'm a fan of. Apologies to all those Wisconsin fans out there tonight. <laughs> Brian means no, nothing personal. I'm a Cubs fan. I. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jumbotron Jake, he's got more snacks. I like oh it. My Green gosh. flag is out. Here we go. Back underway. If he starts drinking Coors Light, we gotta we gotta get a blood test. Griggs out to the race lead. We got a whole gaggle <laughs> behind them. Everybody hold on. She might be a little slicker than you think out there, oh, boys. Goodness. Paul Conrad going with the modified look on the front of the 23. He had some damage from the heat race. Doesn't seem to be He's slowing He's tootling. Him yeah. Doesn't seem to be slowing him down at all. Oh, things tightening up on the back straightaway. Deshaun working the top oh, side. You, you can't miss your mark and get over the cushion. 
get on that shelf and you lose all kinds of track positioning and momentum as well as spots. You know what, Paul Conrad doing a pretty good job upstairs with that modified look on the 23 as they are four wide on the exit of turn two. Johnny Fenewald on the inside of Chance Larson and the 2-2-2 two, two, two <laughs> and Paul Conrad contact. Hope, oh my gosh, Conrad getting beat up. Yeah, no doubt. Here comes Josh Monthe parading that 77 car. He's on the move. They're moving and shaking all the way through this bad boy. Four wide on the back straight away for about 15th. My goodness. Here comes Fenewald trying to work to the outside of Rodney Schweizer. And Fenewald going to try to battle on the top side. Schweizer, too tough on the inside. Going to slide back in front of him, right in front of them. Brian Bennett, the 10B car, the new uh, New Mexico driver. Boy, Fenewald can drive that 91 car anywhere. He goes top to bottom, middle. He's been... That is a heck of a battle. Second, third, fourth. Yeah, Deshaun up top in the 16S. 91. Bennett, Schweizer, Fenewald, those four cars. Meanwhile, Ed Griggs oh, out front of the 47. Oh, things tightened up off the bottom. Uh-oh. You got a couple cars around in turn two. And broke. I think Fenewald busted his left front in the 91. I think he hit a uke tire down there. You don't need that anyway. Oh, no, nope, never you can run that bottom. Yeah, definitely busted on the 91. And we will stay green after the spinners in turn two. I happened to be watching that when it happened, and I think maybe he hooked the left front on the concrete just as he was hitting the brake. Business picking up on the front, Brian. Here comes the 16, Chris Dis uh, Dishon. And the 10 car as well, Brian Bennett. New Mexico is representing, aren't they? I was going to get into that earlier. The New Mexico drivers may, have found, may know how to drive on a drier racetrack than some of the guys around. We have a three-car battle for the lead. Deshaun and Deshaun added, the leader. Yeah, Deshaun added at the line that time by. Griggs trying to battle back right through the heart of the corner. Brian Bennett tucked in right behind him, but Deshaun tough on the top side. Schweizer hanging around right there as well in that fourth position. And then you look back, Mitch Keeter in that 19. Mitch Keeter. Top five. You know, Keeter started outside of the fifth row, and these guys are going at it. Side by side, Ed Griggs back to the lead slightly. As I'll race through three and four, here comes Schweizer. Look at here Bennett comes on Keeter. the bottom. Bennett now three wide at the flag stand. And Deshaun holds on to the race lead, but Bennett working the inside of Griggs. Griggs slides Bennett's up. got some momentum. He powers it up off the bottom, three wide on the back straight away for the lead. Rodney Schweizer just hanging in the weeds right back there, the 74S. Schweizer right on the bumper of Bennett. Oh. Deshaun has it at the line one more time. Danny's got to be liking what he sees over there. Oh, my goodness. This is unbelievable. Here comes Schweizer. Here comes Keeter. It's a five-pack for the lead. They've been three wide for the last couple circuits. And who's it going to oh, be this Keter. time? Give it to Bennett. How many lead changes is this now? I don't know. I don't have, maybe none has that statistic. Here we go. Look at Keeter. Keeter. The Skeeter. The, the flying Skeeter's on the move. Bennett still working the inside of Griggs. Keeter, Schweizer on the bottom. Then you got Deshaun up top, and as well as the 106X of Andy Morris has joined that pack as well. Oh, Bennett on the bottom. Look at the 16 car finding power on the top. He'll lose a bit of momentum as he raced down the back straight away. Oh, <laughs> Keeter slides across the nose of Griggs. Griggs will cross him over. We have six to go. Bennett out front by one-tenth of a second. That time by the start-finish line. Keeter right on his bumper. Griggs trying to catch back up. The top six cars all within striking distance right here. Who's that one car that started to enter X, into Andy your screen? Morris, Andy Morris in the 106 Andy X. Morris has entered the chat. He has caught the top five cars. What does he have? He'll throw his hat in the ring, looking to the outside of Schweizer. I'm looking at Schweizer's left rear. You can see his left rear brake just glowing hot. They're two by two by two with four laps to go. Oh, look at this. Keeter right on the bumper that time. Crossing now, him over. Yep, He's going to cross go. him over. 
A, a move, here we go. Keeter now side by side with Bennett down in the oh! He's gonna go around in front of the field. Oh no. Oh! Rex, two good cars. I, I gotta say, I, I, I believe that's Bennett's fault. I think that Keeter had him cleared I, and he just that tried was, to chop him off. That was the most slow motion spin I've ever seen. <laughs> it felt like he was trying to save that for a lap. Oh, that thing's toasty too as he fires it back up. Here, co here it comes, Brian. FK Rod ends replay. I don't know. Yeah, just don't a racing deal. Yeah, it is just a racing deal. I don't deal. even I mean, know I, if he knew he was down there. I'm he got crossed gonna, over. Yeah, I take it back. That's a I, racing deal. I don't blame Bennett. I think I, no fault. No, that's yeah. just a racing deal. There is, yeah. You know, I, of course, you're going to see it differently if you're rooting for Bennett or if you're v rooting for Keeter, but that's just a racing deal, working, fighting for the same piece of real estate in turn three. Yeah, and I feel bad for Brian Bennett. First off, he spells his name the right way with a, with a Y, just like I do. But uh, he had a heck of a race going, and those guys, I mean, you can't fault them for that. They're racing hard. They're driving deep into the corner, and uh, just one of those deals. So tough break for Brian Bennett from Tolerosa, New Mexico. Now, Andy, Andy Morris has just entered the chat as he is now into the top. Oh, we got a car wrecked on the front stretch now. What happened there? Yeah, what happened to Jake Newman on the front stretch? He, I don't know if he got dumped or what happened there, but oh, I don't know. He either. zigged when he should have zagged. Yeah. Oh, we oh, got oh, here it here. comes. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh no, this oh, is no nope. another this, angle. No. Well, yeah, you can see. Ah, Peter, I don't know. Peter was actually on the brakes trying to slow. He up was. He was coming down. Oh man, you just hate that for the 16 as well. Yeah, I think those guys will see that the same way as well. A, a tough break. Three different leaders with six. Chris leaders. Deshawn. Minimal contact, would you say? Yeah. He got her woed up pretty good. He is going to, since he tried to avoid the spin, he gets his spot back. We'll see what he's got left in the tank. None says we've had three different leaders with six different lead changes in this feature already. None is a and wealth of information. Mitch Keeter going to bring us back to the green flag. We're back underway. Deshaun works the top side. Griggs, Schweizer, and then you got Andy Morris right there as well. Oh, Brian he's got a run. The bottom. Got a little bit of a run off the top shelf, the 16 of Deshaun. And Schweizer powers down along the bottom hub of the racetrack. Everybody fight for the same piece of real estate. Almost three wide of the starter stand for third. The 19 car continues to lead. This time it'll be green flag high. Two laps to go for the 19 of Mitch Keeter. He started outside of row number five. And off a of two down the back straightaway. Look at that shot in your living room. That is a five pass. Oh, some heavy contact on the back straightaway, racing for about fifth on back. Latent stages in this one. Brian White, Brian White, Brian, started in the 11th row. He's racing for second on the back straightaway in the five car. I saw him coming through a couple laps ago as here coming to the checkered flag. White is going to end up getting that second spot. Keeter, hand up the window, raises it up, picks up the checkered flag. Brian White from oh the last goodness. row to the second.